Hey, this is Andy from Saturn V Sound. I'm a producer and sound designer outside of Portland, Oregon. And welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video of this type. Um, I've been inspired recently um, by Jeremy Blake, Ben Jordan, a bunch of other Div Kid to make. Been watching tons of their modular videos and thought I should make some of my own. Uh, for two reasons. One, to dig into my modules a bit more as well as there's a type of uh, modular video I haven't seen before. And there's tons of the overviews of modules where they dig into every single possible feature. But something that I've personally looked for is I need a module to do this one thing. So today, inspired by uh, a question from Tyler Lyle on Twitter, we're going to look at two different stereo filters, the um, Chaos Devices Zagzeb and the Make Noise QPOS, two stereo, fantastic stereo filters to see how they sound on a stereo oscillator, the Instro Croon, to just make some big, huge synth basses. So let's dig in. So... Our oscillator we're using is the intro croon. It's out of camera over here, but it's fantastic because it's got um, rate and depth control for five different saw waves. So you can really dial in a really nice wide like synth bass that's gotten really popular, not just with synth, synth wave, but I mean the Midnight, uh, Charlie XDX, lots of stuff now is using this really wide coarse synth bass. A lot of it's Juno inspired, um, but I've been looking for lots of different ways to create the synth bass um, for splice packs without using just a Juno. Um, so first we're gonna start with the uh, Chaos Devices filter. It's, you can have the, the uh, frequency modulation here, which is a tiny little knob. And this is a 24 dB per uh, filter, so it's really smooth. One thing that I like about this filter as well is the resonance never self oscillates. So you can get really crazy with it and really push it. So now we're going to start with the QPOS, which is um, 12 dB per octave slope. So it's a lot more aggressive, a lot brighter. The resonance on this definitely can get into self oscillating territory. So you have a lot more play on this one.
One thing this has, um, which I've patched in here from the Oct, um, is it has this, it's this, the four, the, qu the, the quad peak filter is what they call this. So, let's see if I can get it really... You can really hear it there. Which just works great for more slower. And again, I usually use that on mono sources to uh, just give it some more stereo life. So that's the QPOS and the Zagzeb, both fantastic stereo filters. Uh, I will probably use them both for very different applications. For really aggressive synth bass, I'll probably grab the, Q the QPOS, while for more smooth, more ballady, uh, punchy bass, I'll grab the Zagzeb when I want a more like Moog ladder f filter uh, sound. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll have some more videos here in the very near future.